The French people eat so much bread, so much butter, so much cheese and yet how is it that as a population they are so slim? What is their secret? We're going to find that in today's video. And why should you listen to me? Uh, basically I've had the privilege of being able to live and work in several different countries and I was in Europe for a few years, uh, in Switzerland actually for quite a few years. We obviously used to go to France quite a bit for vacations but also I had a lot of French colleagues and this is what I observed and learned from interacting with them and seeing their food habits. The first reason which never gets enough attention in my opinion is the type of bread that they consume. A lot of the breads that they consume are actually fermented. Fermented foods are a lot easier for our body to, to metabolize and absorb nutrients from. The bioavailability of the nutrients in that food are a lot easier for the body to assimilate. That was a lot of jargon I think but basically what it means is that fermented foods are a lot better for our gut because they are much easier to break down and also much easier to absorb nutrients from. The normal industrial kind of breads that we get, they, they get the leavening through baking powder, baking soda and yeast. However, if you're fermenting something, it's the natural yeast production which brings about that airiness and that lightness. You'll see in most cultures where people do eat a lot but they still look slim, there is a portion of fermented foods that makes an appearance. So in Korea, it is kimchi. In Japan, it is natto as well as you know miso and other other things that are fermented. And in, in France, we see the bread itself, which they consume so much of, uh, it, it is fermented. I read in a study that in France, the average person consumes about 250 grams of bread every day. That's a lot of bread, but it doesn't show in their tummies because they're all so slim. Not all, but in general, that's the, that's the trend you see. Another very important factor is the type of food that makes up their meal. It's not loaded on a lot of carbs, a lot of bread or a lot of rice. It's not how the French meals go. There's a lot of variety that they have and a lot of fresh salads. And even in salads, you'll see it's not like it is loaded up in a lot of dressing. It is enough dressing to make it taste nice. And alongside that, they have some sort of protein and some carbs on the side. It's a very well-balanced meal. The third point is the amount of food they consume in each meal, the portion sizes. They're not huge, not, sorry Americans, but they're not as humongous as the American uh, portion sizes. They're smaller portion sizes, but they're wholesome. They have a lot of variety and they don't skimp out on fat cheese and butter they don't they don't skimp out on that so the portion sizes may be small but the meal is satiating it has a lot of variety and usually freshly prepared the culture of eating meals along with the family and eating it in a relaxed manner it is a time that you sit down and relax with your family and enjoy your meal enjoying your meal is as important as what makes up your meal and you see that in the cafe culture in france right there are cafes where people just chill they watch the world go by generally you know in in france you'll see that the chairs are facing the public. So taking the time to enjoy your meals is a very important factor as well. Processed foods or the lack thereof. There is a culture of eating home cooked meals. There's very little place for any processed foods. And that has got to do with, you know, the culture as such. People in France, they are not generally rushing from work to home. The pace of life in, in France and in much of Europe, I think, is a bit less frantic <laughs> compared to how it is in some of the bigger cities in the Western world, in, in let's say America, for example. The quality of food in France, there are a lot of farmers markets where people like to go every couple of days to pick up fresh produce and that's what they use every day to cook meals at home. It's the entire culture of preparing your own meals, using fresh and wholesome ingredients and sitting together as a family and relaxing and enjoying your meal. When you have that sort of a setup in your society, you don't feel the need to go grab a 100 calorie pack of snacks and it may not even sound very appealing, not, not very tasty either, especially when you're spoiled with the best and the freshest ingredients around you. Alcohol consumption. And really when it comes to alcohol, you can't separate the French from the wine, right? The French people, they love to indulge in a glass or two of wine. Of course, if there's a gathering, there's a special event, you have people coming over, the wine just flows. But otherwise, a glass of wine with your meal at the end of the day, it's not really all that bad. And red wine is shown to have some health benefits as well. And the last point is the lifestyle. The walking. People walk a lot. It's not a country where you get your car out to get to every little destination. Public transport is used a lot and you have to walk quite a bit. You have to walk so much that even if you're not, you know, heading to the gym or working out or anything, just walking so much in the day 
is kind of your workout. So it's not a very sedentary sort of a lifestyle. So those were some of my observations on why the French people, despite having some of the richest and the tastiest foods, they are so slim. Please do check out some of the other videos I have made in this series. Do like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.